Hey, here is the answer to a YouTube request. Somebody wanted to know how can you take time, two hours and seven minutes, four hours and 28 minutes, and convert that into billable time with a rate. So let me show you how to do that in Excel. Here we go. I have Excel running already. I made up some clients in column A, projects in column B. I don't care about the date in this example, but I have start time, for example, 9 a.m. in D2, 11 a.m. in E2. So I'm going to take the 11 a.m., subtract the 9 a.m., and obviously I should get two hours. Notice it says 2 a.m., that's okay. Autofill, pull down, let's knock that out. I'm going to format the cells to get rid of the a.m., right click format custom hour colon mm is correct just get rid of the am and pm look at my sample up above perfect click ok so there's the time but now here's going to be the issue i'm going to put in the rate and i'm going to keep this really simple the rates could be different depending on what you're doing but I'm going to make the rate 20 bucks for every one of these. I don't care what the rate is. Now I'm going to figure out how much I'm going to bill them. H2, and here we go, equals 2 hours times 20 bucks should be $40. So that is F2 times G2. I'm expecting 40 and I get 1.666 running down there. Let's go ahead and just auto fill this all down. They're all incorrect to be honest with you. Here's the reason why. When it comes to time in Excel, 12 midnight, which is 12 a.m., is zero. 3 a.m. is zero point one two five so if you go from 12 a.m. to noon which is 12 p.m. that's 12 hours that is half of the day that is 0.5 so let me prove that to you we're going to come over here to the right perfect j2 works let's do 12 a.m. 3 a.m. highlight them both Autofill, 6 a.m. There's noon, 12 p.m. I'm going to run this all the way back to 12 a.m. Next to it in K2, I'm going to do equals J2. I got the exact same numbers, but I'm going to go select comma and increase the decimal one time. So if you notice, over a 24-hour period, the answer at the bottom is the number 1. And I said that noon, 12 p.m., would be 0.5, and it is. So this is actually really simple. So when you're dealing with hours and minutes, I'm back in H2. And tell me if you agree. We went from 12 a.m. all the way back, back to 12 a.m., 24 hours. That 1 is a 24-hour period. So I'm just going to take this and multiply it times 24. 2 hours, $20, 40 bucks. Just do a little formatting. Let me test this one right here. 1 hour and 5 minutes in cell F7. Well, we know 1 hour is 20. 5 minutes divided by 60 minutes is 0 0.883 multiply that times 20 I got one dollar and round it 67 cents we had twenty dollars another dollar 67 21 67 that is correct just so you know this 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 is done we're perfect on this one so that is how you take time hours and minutes take a billable rate the key is to multiply multiply by 24. If for some reason you wanted to convert this into minutes, 
So two hours, that's going to be equals F2 times 1440. Look, zero colons. Notice it's a colon, so just change it. And you're saying, why in the world is it 1440? Remember? 24 hours times 60 minutes is 1440. So that is how you get your billable amount. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great week. Thank you.